Virtually overnight, passenger numbers were significantly reduced to historically low levels when COVID-19 hit. For airports, aside from their aeronautical revenue, such as landing fees from the airlines, passenger numbers are key to their revenue from parking, transport, and retail, like food and beverage. However, a lot of the Australasian airports have sizable property portfolios, and rent collections from these properties provided an anchor to otherwise rapidly decreasing cash flows for the airports. Airport property portfolios, they became a crucial focus of our fundamental credit analysis of the sector. Management teams were extremely proactive in their approach to ensure they had both adequate liquidity and also that they were able to protect their balance sheet. Measures taken included companies stopping paying dividends to shareholders, putting the capital expenditure plans on hold, undertaking equity raises, and also cutting their operating costs as much as practically possible. On the fixed income side, a number of the Australasian airports came to the local bond markets to borrow additional funds over the past 18 months. Through robust credit analysis, we were able to identify opportunities within the challenge sector. An example of this is Brisbane Airport, who came to the bond market in Australia in the depths of the pandemic in June 2020. Brisbane Airport borrowed $750 million from bond investors, and this deal was met with tremendous demand. When we were focusing on this particular company, its property portfolio, exposure to not just domestic, but also interstate flying, in addition to its proactive approach in cutting costs and withholding shareholder distributions, were key positive factors. Its strategic importance as the gateway to Queensland provided investors with both comfort and belief in its future recovery. Our airports will be critical to the recovery of both New Zealand and Australia's economic recoveries. However, this recovery will be uneven across the airports, and those that are more domestically focused will most likely see a full recovery quicker than those with more international exposure. At Milford, we believe that our ongoing analysis of this sector will continue to allow us to identify further opportunities, and we will also continue to monitor current holdings on an ongoing basis. Mm-hmm.